There's no dense fog advisory yet. Okay. Weather service indicated that it's going to be continuing to monitor the situation. They just sent an advisory saying that there's so much uh, thick fog around the area. But it was interesting uh, waking up this morning and looking out back. And it was like, what? What's going on? I mean, the fog was that thick that even, you know, street lights were just illuminating it right outside your door. And this is what it looks like. This is the camera over there by the airport. Somewhere in here is 410 and visibilities. These are the numbers. It is, uh, yeah, literally pea soup gravy, however you want to call it. Zero visibility, Casterville, quarter mile, Stinson, Port S.A., Pleasanton. Just a matter of uh, maybe 100 yards out there at the airport. Quarter mile, New Braunfels, Bernie, and there is thick fog all over the place this morning. I mean, nobody is really getting away with any uh, clear skies out there at all. Also, we do have a couple of uh, light little showers, and here's the uh, we got some uh, maybe a little bit more widespread, just light rain. Lake Econ Canyon Valley, Crystal City, right around Carrizo Springs, and then a few more of these uh, showers. A couple of maybe a, an okay shower here right around Kennedy, coming in Floresville, Pleasanton, all sliding sort of up to the north with a little bit of a northwestwardly flavor. And then in and around town, yeah, just a couple of uh, light little showers. We are going to continue to have rain around the area today. Temperatures are very, very mild. We are at 61 right now, upper 50s, low 60s, about 10 degrees above what it was at this time yesterday. And look at these dew points. They are really up. The humidity came back in with a vengeance and it's going to be sticking around throughout the day. Uh, the allergens mold is on the high side. I would imagine when the updated count comes out that that number is going to be going up and throughout the rest of today. 67 at noon we will hit 70 today. Showers, fog, showers off and on throughout the day. And then later on today, we do have the front moving on through. As it comes through, there is the chance, and most of this is going to be further off to the east, but there is the chance for a strong, potentially severe storm. High winds and hail would be the biggest threats. But again, most all of this, we're on the, the western or southwestern edge. Most all of it is going to be east and further up to the northeast. But then also, rain is going to be an issue. I can't believe I'm saying that rain is going to, we're going to be potentially getting way too much rain after what we haven't gotten so far this year. But we are looking at uh, some widespread showers today. Then it's really going to start to pick up tomorrow and we are looking at and this doesn't even account and in, uh, include some of those localized spots with some of those heavier storms but uh, in and around town we're looking at maybe just a excuse me let me go back to that a couple of inches of rain with heavier amounts off to the east and to the northeast so it is going to be wet if you're planning on doing shopping tomorrow you may want to rethink heading out to these stores because it is going to be wet throughout most all of the day, and this is going to extend then into Saturday morning as well. Then we'll start to clear out, so we will get everything all sorted out in just a couple of minutes. But yeah, hitting the roads today, may want to think twice about that. Steph, Mark.